There are two fun features that I want to show you here that I really like. It's the watch and then also the evaluate formulas. First of all, I want to show you the watch window and it's used to watch a cell while you're in another part of your worksheet or workbook. For example, I've got my five-year loan amortized. In other words, I want to know how much interest I pay, the total interest, which if I scroll down to the bottom down below, if I come up here and start messing with the numbers like the uh, number of months, if I type in a number like 24, it'll update the monthly payments, but also update the total interest paid. But then I have to scroll down, scroll back up, type in another number, scroll down to see the total interest, and that gets annoying. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and use the watch window, which can be found up here on the formulas tab. Go to the formula auditing group and click on watch window, and then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down just once, select the cell that I want to watch, click on add to watch, and it says OK. This is the cell that I got. You want to select something else, you can click on the collapsible dialog box button, select another cell. I'm fine with it, so let me hit enter to pop it back open, click add, and you can add a lot of cells here. This is just one, and it shows you when I click and drag in between the uh, two column headers, you see how my pointer turns into arrows pointing in opposite directions. I can go ahead and see what we got going on here. This is the book. Well, the workbook is Watch and Evaluate Formulas. And I'm on the uh, loan sheets. So that way, if I have other sheets that I'm looking in, it'll keep track of it. Here's the cell D70. That's the current value. And then, of course, the formula. So if I come up here and that window's open, I can click over here. Notice when I click off, the window doesn't disappear behind the uh, workbook, which is nice. It stays on top of it. And I go, okay, well, if I want to pay this loan off in 24 months, notice over here it's uh, about 46, 4700. When I type in a new value, it changes it, lowers the uh, total payment and in interest to uh, 3100 approximately. So that way I don't have to scroll back and forth. I can stay one part of the workbook, make my changes that affects, well, in this case, the uh, bottom part of this uh, database that I don't have to scroll to. So pretty cool. When I'm done, I can select it and delete my watch. That simple. Next, I want to show you the Evaluate Formulas feature. It's used to evaluate complex nested formulas one step at a time. For example, I've got my formula here. You can see it up in the formula bar. It's kind of complex. It's not nested, but it's the payment function. You have the cell divided by the uh, total months in a year, which is 12, and that's going to be the interest rate here, which is D4. And then you have D5, which is part of the formula, the total months and interest, and then we have the uh, total principal amount, D3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here on the Formulas tab to the Formula Auditing group and click on Evaluate Formula. Gives you a little synopsis down below. It says, to show the result of the underlying expression, it's got one. It focuses on one at a time. Click Evaluate. And then the most recent result appears italicized. So there's no recent result now. There's nothing italicized yet. So if I go ahead and click Evaluate, it was underlined that cell, D4 which is showing you that, well, within the cell is 12% or 0.12. I can go ahead and click Evaluate again, and notice that the most recent result, again, appears italicized. So the recent result here is 0 0.01, and that's the interest rate over 12 months. So you're analyzing it first. It shows you the cell, and as D4, then you evaluate that. It steps inside it and says, okay, here's the value inside it, which is 12. Then you evaluate it again. It says, okay, over 12 months, that's 0 0.01 um, interest, 0.01% a month. And then it goes to the next one that's coming up. If I click Evaluate again, it's going to step into this cell, the one that's underlined. So again, italics means that it's the most recent result of the evaluation. The next one that I click on is the one that's underlined. So when I click on that, it pulls me out of that cell, moves over to the next one. And it says, OK, the current value in there is 24. Click Evaluate. And then it goes over to the uh, next option, which is uh, cell D3. And inside that's 2400. Then it has it all underlined. So when I click Evaluate again, gives me the total results, which I can see up here. 